this is living free in my RV and behind me is where the council have had bulldozed a rest area. So what they're saying, that if you're driving and you're fatigued and weary and want to pull over to have a sleep before you kill somebody and yourself, that you can't because human life has as much value as money and the council's only concerned about money so what they do is they block off they've blocked off both driveways to a previous rest area so that people are forced their agenda is to force people to go to caravan parks they charge ridiculously absorbent prices and they're exploiting people so they're just parasites that they don't care about fatigue drivers. You see signs all over this country saying drowsy drivers die. However, we want your money. So their real concern is not for your well-being, it's for their profit. And combined with the uh, caravan park owners who are obviously As you members can see, of the they've council. successfully blocked any weary travellers from having a rest or a sleep on their journey. They've blocked this end and the other entrance up here. So that's their agenda, is to stop people from resting and to uh, work in cohesion with the caravan parks. I find it amazing that they haven't blocked this other entrance here because people would just drive in there and camp for the night. Because the council have made this an RV unfriendly town, I've just had a nice lunch that I used for my food that I have in storage. So if this was an RV friendly town, I would have gone in the, to that expensive restaurant in there and ordered some kind of meal if they catered for me. So, uh, so one hand washes the other. I was speaking to a local and they said that um, this time of year it's busy because they always aim at uh, tourists that are rich, of course, the elitists, but, um, and then off season it dies. A lot of people I've spoken to about Broome, they've just said that they completely avoid the town and I don't go to that extreme because I, I like this beach, Cable Beach here, yeah, it's beautiful. If it wasn't for this beach and the place, you know, I wouldn't be here. However, uh, Broome is not the council, that's just a, a body corporation and it's a name. Broome's just a name. It's uh, not the place, it's unfortunately there's some parasites that have uh, hooked onto it like a, like a leech and they, they target um, rich tourists so they can exploit them and suck them dry. So I know how to avoid that. I've been living free in my RV long enough to escape that kind of slavery and mentality. And, and some people are so stupid that they pay these ridiculous prices, like 50 something dollars a night or $60 a night to stay in a caravan park. Some, some people are paying $1,100 a week and they don't question it, okay? And they're the kind of mindless fools that believe everything they see on television. You know, like these idiots who toot uh, when they pass rest areas and campsites because they believe the media and they're like their extension of the police, you know. There's no loyalty with them, they're just mindless fools. As you can see, the majority of these shops are for the targeting people to buy pearls. Aimed at the rich on both sides of the street. See over there, pearls, pearls, and more pearls. So 
now it's pretty obvious that the tourist industry are after people that like this prestige sort of lifestyle. So if you're rich, then you're made welcome. Otherwise, you're just treated like trash. Monuments are for the founders of the pearling industry and they used a lot of uh, Japanese and Chinese to dive for them who uh, are considered by the elite as a human resource. And this lays tribute to the word human resource. Many people in the RV community like to free camp, which is why they're in the RV community in the first place. And also the RV community inject money into towns. Um, that's why most towns know that, that uh, they're RV friendly because they know that people are going to spend money in their town. For example, if I need to get my vehicle serviced or um, I want to buy fuel, I want to buy supplies, uh, groceries, and I like to shop. And if it's an RV friendly town, then I spend more. If it's not, um, I just avoid it. Like most people I spoke to about Broome, um, they've just completely bypassed it altogether. You know? but, but Broome is not the council, that's just an artificial entity. So I've been camping about 25 k's um, north of Broome. And um, and it's it's the only free one left. You know, it's really it's um, not in camps eight, but I think it is on wiki camps. You know, so why, why would anyone want to pay um, forty to fifty dollars? Some some uh, caravan parks are charging people eleven hundred dollars a week to stay in them. Why would you want to pay that much to be crammed in like sardines next to each other? having people complain about your generator or they're playing music all night stopping you from sleeping I'd rather camp, free camp in the wide open spaces you know, I have paid like national parks because they're affordable you know you might pay six dollars fifty um, or ten dollars you know for a night but at least you've had that freedom to uh, to do what you want to do there you know? so it's much more beneficial so that's why some states, like in Tasmania, um, they've got a lot of signs saying no camping, uh, motorhomes and caravans allowed. And unfortunately, a few, the minority, can spoil it for the majority. Like I've been to some campsites and people haven't even buried their human waste. You know, they've left it on the ground. I mean, that's what even animals have buried their waste. You know, it doesn't take much effort to get a shovel and dig a hole and cover it up. It's actually good for the ground. It's a form of humour, which they used to use instead of manure when this country was founded. The best way to uh, deliver a powerful message to the council and also the mayor is uh, in cohesion with the council has uh, stopped. There was a place called the Overflow when tourist season when all the caravan parks are full people would go to a, a lower budget one called the Overflow or the Pistol Club and they've stopped them as well because he's so greedy that they're going to shoot themselves in the foot because it's counterproductive to uh, close all these places and force people into their caravan parks to exploit them like parasites and drain them like drain them blood from their their host okay? so people aren't stupid yeah, they're just not going to pay it and the, the town's going to just become a ghost town eventually. Also unfortunately those people that uh, do that like they create this stigma and then it'll be written about in the newspapers about um, people like backpackers you know, leaving their rubbish and paper all around these campsites so when they drive past they toot their horns and they because they're so easy to manipulate them kind of minds, well they're not really minds, they're just mindless fools, that uh, 
they t keep everyone awake. You know, so some fatigued driver wants to pull over and have a rest, and these idiots, the hoons, drive past tooting their horn. You know, it's not just a little toot. They they just beep 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 beep. You know, I mean, there's no sense in that. Like they must be on some kind of drug because how can one reach su such depths of stupidity without some chemical aid? Anyway. That's enough about that for now. I'm just going to look at the positive side. You know, I've stayed in Broome so long because I love Cable Beach, you know, um, and I just don't buy anything, you know. So I'm going to head further down south now. I'm going to go through Port Hedland and, um, and go to Exmouth. I've heard it's beautiful there, and I've heard that it's an RV-friendly town, so I'll go and stay there, and I will spend money. And then Carnarvon, and we'll continue down the WA coastline, it's a beautiful coastline, and uh, just beach bum it there. So, until the next episode, live free in your RV, and see you soon. Bye.